Now, as you can see, the setter really replicates some of those classic over-under shotgun lines, and a lot of the features are borrowed from some of the more popular sporting guns that, that we see on the market. Um, starting from the front, we've got the uh, 28 inch long barrels. Now this is a 12 gauge with three inch chambers. There's also a 20 gauge with 26 inch barrels, also three inch chambers. And what we see with on these steel barrels is we've got a red fiber optic front. Now this is kind of a modern touch. Some people love it, some people hate the fiber optic front sights. Uh, I found it to be very serviceable as well. On the top, we've got a rib that's got some cross-hatching machined into it, and basically, that'll help reduce glare as you're staring down the rib, picking up the bead, and looking at your target. Now, beyond the decent wood, uh, this forend has about 20 line per inch texturing here in a classic pattern. It's also got a slight schnabel here in the front of it, really help you get a grip, but, you know, the, the texturing is, is enough to ensure purchase. Uh, and the forend is attached by a, a Delian Edge forend latch. Now the gun is built on monoblock principles, so the barrels are uh, attached to that steel monoblock and uh, we actually see a little bit of scrolling to kind of hide the uh, attachment points there. The barrels, when it's broken open, pivot on Italian style trunnions, uh, one left and one right, and lockup is provided by a self-adjusting purdy style under lug. It's the same you might see on a Browning or a Blazer shotgun. Now on the receiver, we do get a little bit of kind of a floral pattern, uh, again, laser engraved into the, the receiver. It's, it's a nice touch and it's, it's done tastefully. Uh, moving back to the tang, the barrel latch also has a little bit of uh, floral design on it. Um, it's very easy to manipulate the latch and open, break open the gun. Uh, and moving back to the safety and barrel selector, it's basically a standard three position all the way to the rear. The gun is on safe, and from there you can select either the over barrel, marked with an O, or by moving it to the right, you can select the under barrel, and that just means which barrel will fire first. Now the trigger is a mechanical trigger, which is nice. It means that you don't need the recoil to reset it. So in the event of a flush and you try and take your first shot and nothing happens, you can immediately pull the trigger again for that other barrel and hopefully still take your game. You'd expect to see, of course, a rubber recoil pad on the back of any shotgun, um, but this one's pretty nice because it's actually got uh, two parts to it. The bottom section is, you know, it's a little bit squishy, it's a little bit tacky. Um, it'll help hold it into the pocket of your shoulder and absorb some of the recoil of shooting, but the top heel, the top kind of arc of the rubber recoil pad is a little bit smoother and a bit firmer, so when you go to mount the shotgun, it helps that recoil pad kind of glide up your clothes and right into the pocket of your shoulder. A nice little feature. The setter comes with five Beretta style screw and choke tubes. Two are flush fitting, two are extended, and the constriction levels are improved cylinder, modified, and full. Overall, despite its fairly low price point, the setter combines a lot of popular and proven over-under shotgun characteristics, making this a very versatile entry level over-under. For more reviews of firearms and shooting gear, check out the latest edition of American Rifleman the magazine.